Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Epps here, and today I'm going to be doing my uh, 14th tutorial. And today it's actually a really quick tutorial, it's even faster than the old one. And it's just going to be a simple way just to pretty much turn a, uh, an object, a UI object, in degrees, you know. I find that, you know, it's not available on the web that much, and it's hard to find, so I'm just going to make it easy in, in video form. So I'm just going to make it um, rotate UI object. Okay. Now, make the brackets. Make an ID outlet. For, I'm gonna make an ID outlet for UI button just because it's easier. And I'm gonna name it my button. And then the semicolon at the end. And then this is actually it right here. Just go to your dot m. Go to your view to load. And copy in this code. All right, so I'll read it after you. So in your view load or wherever you want to transform it, you could actually make an animation with it. Just put this in a UI view um, animation or CAA animation, um, like block or whatever, and it'll work just as well. So I'll read it out. My button dot transform space equals space C G F E N or A F F I N E transform make rotation start parentheses start parentheses 180 space asterisk space um, capital M underscore P I those are all caps space and parentheses space slash space 180 space and parentheses uh, semicolon that actually doesn't matter where you put the spaces or not or whatever just make sure it's in that order so pretty much just want you guys to remember something here this will make um, the uh, the button turn or wherever UI object turn 180 degrees the first um, number right here the second one has to deal with radians and you know if you want to use that you can but this has to deal with degrees right here so I'm gonna make it um, I'm actually gonna leave it at 1A just to show you and then quickly or whatever go into your um, X side bin drag in a button button go to files owner go to your connections drag my button to the button and that's it build it run it and wait for it I swear it takes like a minute for these simulators and whatever to compile and load up it's ridiculous so anyway I think I, this is my fifth tutorial of the week so I think I have to do two more in order to complete my week of tutorials and um, yeah I think I said in one of my uh, previous tutorials that I was going to expand on the UI image peer controller and yes that'll be one of my um, tutorials next so anyway as you see in the view to load it did turn 180 degrees and I'm actually going to make another degree amount here I'll make it 45 degrees I'm going to run it and you'll see that it's turned 45 degrees and it still works perfectly so I didn't connect any action that's why it's not doing anything but otherwise it works perfectly and it's just sideways so this is good if you want to add some like special element or whatever to your app and make it look a little bit crooked you know if, if that's the style so hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed the tutorial actually and the source code will be in the description thanks for watching